In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can enhance your transitions. Let's have a look. That's right, what we're going to do is we're going to take our transitions and we're going to go... <laughs> we're going to go Gordon Ramsay style and take them to the next level. <laughs> I'm Harvey Roberts, this is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki, and today I'm going to show you how you can raise your transitions to the next level. We're going to take two video clips, two b-rolls that I went out and messed around with in Helsinki, one of a metro, one of some buses coming in, nothing spectacular. We're going to join them together, add a transition, and then enhance it a little bit. And now you've done this many times yourself and you've put your transition in there and you've gone, yeah, that's a bit of all right. However, you're missing something out here because you can add stuff to it and make it so it goes a little bit more, mm, give it that oomph and make it much nicer. Now, if you're new to my channel and you do like these video tutorials, don't forget to click subscribe, give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. You can drop a comment, ask a question. I answer all comments. So that's enough of that. Let's open up Power Director. Let's get to the next level. <laughs> Let's import our video files. I have two B-roll files that I have for this tutorial here. I, that I took at a metro station in Helsinki the other day. One is the metro train coming into the station and the other one is a bus coming to the bus terminal upstairs. And what I want to do is I'm just going to cut these. I'm just going to drag it along so you can see what happens. But the train comes into the station like this. Now, ideally, I wanted this post to be the ending here because on the second clip, the bus, the, there's a post, uh, but unfortunately, too many people and I couldn't get it. So I'm just going to drag this along until I get a stop, which is somewhere like here. I like that about there. That's going to be my ending. So now I've got the video clip here at the ending. Let's just drag this along so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to use a knife and split the clip here and then I'm going to remove that. I don't want this last bit. So let's just click remove or you can just press delete on the keyboard. That's good. Now let's bring in our bus coming into the terminal because I need to cut this as well. And I'm going to drag it along with this bit now. So you can see, that drag it along until it starts there. There's the bus coming in, see that? About there, that's what I want. And I'm going to cut it again. And then I'm going to remove this piece here. So just click delete on my keyboard. Remove and fill the gap, which brings this back in. So there we go. There's the start, there's the ending, there's the start basic thing this is basically what we've done now i don't like the sound of this bus so i'm going to unlink this and then deselect select the sound and press delete i don't want the sound now i do like the sound on the metro station this is really nice i love that noise as it makes as it comes into the station but the bus is not good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my own sound in in a moment but first of all we need to add our effect. So let's go to transitions. And now we need to select a proper transition for this. Now we've got speed, so we've got movement. We've got the, the metro coming in and we've got the bus coming in. So it would make sense to have a speed blur on this. And I'm going to go all the way down and find the one that I, which is warp horizontally. See that if you watch it, that's the one we're going to use. And I'm going to drop this down here. <coughs> Make sure cross so it's onto both of them is selected. Now, I don't want to run this at two seconds because it's too long. So I'm going to change this down to one. Most of my transitions usually run at one second. I don't really have anything to go higher than that. I don't need to go higher apply to all and that's what we've got so now if you run this just from here you'll see it comes in and then it comes wow 
And you think to yourself, well, that's pretty sweet, right? That is a, a nice transition there. Pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to enhance that a little bit now. But first of all, we need the sound for the bus. So let's go back to our media files, go back to our sound effects. It imports our media. And let's see what we've got. My media, my downloads. And I have a car somewhere in here. Here we go. This one. I'm going to drag this down here. Now this is a sound of the car and I'm going to cut this because it's got several sound. I'm going to drop this sound down because this is way too high. Take it down to 10. Now if I play this now you'll see that bit and then this one. I like that last bit so I'm going to cut that so I'm going to go here make sure our sound selected and just cut it. Select this piece and remove it remove and leave a gap. Now I'm going to bring this in and I'm, I want it to start a little bit after the transition. I don't want it to be as soon as the transition goes. I want it to sound as you can see the bus coming in there about there see. There that is pretty good. We can change it a little bit later if it's not working very well. So that is what we've got. Let's Train comes in. Let's start it from here. Train comes in. There. Now that sound could start a little bit earlier, but we'll check it out in a moment. So how are we going to enhance this a little bit? Well, what we need to do is we need to add a sound effect to the transition. And while we've got our sounds open here, let's go up and we've got this whoosh. There, you see that? You hear that? How cool is that? Now I'm going to drag this. I'm going to put it with the transition. I'm going to put it down here onto track two. I'm going to spread this out a little bit like this because I want to see how far ahead this is going to go. If it starts too early or it starts too late. So let's go here. It's quite close. Now we can just shorten this a little bit. Now let's just shorten it, trim it, and then we're going to move it just a touch. Let's get that back out of the way. Make sure our transition is selected. And I want it to start right about there. Just as it, we want the sound to start just before it actually transitions to that. That's way too early. So let's shorten this a little bit more from this side. I'm going to write that bit there. Let's move this out of the way. Make sure transition selected. And I want it to go about. Let's try that. It's actually spread this out now. You can see it a little bit better. That might be still be a little bit too wide. So let's shorten it in a little bit more. Trim it to there and then take that might be. No, not the volume. There, trim it. So you, you just wants to overlap from the transition. You see that? So let's drag our playhead back. Let's give it a there. That's what we're after. Just starts the sound just as the transition goes. Excellent. And the, the sound of the car should start now just at the transition point. Drag it back, give it one more go. Excellent. Let's play the whole video. Go back to the beginning so we can see it back on the timeline. 
drag it all the way down here like this. So now you can see what it looks like set up. And this is what happens. And there's our bus. And that is how you enhance transitions. <laughs> So there you go, just by adding that one little piece of sound to your transition raises your transitions to the next level. Try it out yourself, see what you can come up with. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.